Hey! Hi! How are you doing? This is the Gamertron and welcome back to the Gamertron Show. In this video, I want to answer a couple questions that people leave on my videos from time to time concerning the video games I play and the video game footage I show in my videos. Because I don't know if you guys have noticed, <coughs> sarcasm, but I play a lot of video games. And I record and show off a lot of different video games in the gameplay footage that I show in my videos. And I have been asked from time to time, why don't you make more Warframe videos, Call of Duty videos, Evolve videos, so on and so forth. I got people asking me, why do I not stick to one particular video game like so many other YouTube channels do? Usually with a lot of gaming YouTube channels, they find that one game and that game becomes the focus of their channel. And only every once in a while do they visit or talk about other games. You know, there are Warframe YouTube channels, Call of Duty YouTube channels, there are now Overwatch YouTube channels, Destiny YouTube channels, insert video game name here, YouTube channels. Yet, I don't do that. I'm not a fan channel or a partner channel of any particular video game, even though, quite honestly, it would be more beneficial to me if I only played one specific video game, made videos of one specific video game, or made videos on video games about one specific company or developer, like, say, Ubisoft or EA. If I acted more like a fan channel, like a partner channel, I could become an official fan channel, an official partner channel, and get exclusive benefits from video video game companies, developers, and publishers alike. Now, as a YouTuber with subscribers that range into the thousands, I already do get special from video game companies. I can request review copies and get games, AAA games even sometimes, for free. As long as I, of course, make videos about them. But there are other YouTube channels out there that have exclusive benefits that get content early, or get sneak peeks at content, or get early updates on info and upcoming content to certain games that they are promoting. I don't really need to explain this, there are a number of different benefits for being a sponsor of, partnering with, or just making YouTube videos of a particular video game or video games from a particular studio. I don't do that, so I'm never going to get those special benefits, and I don't conform to the average fan of a certain video game that demands I only make videos about this one particular video game. I will admit I am a bit different, a bit weird. My YouTube channel is a bit different, a bit weird than other YouTubers because I'm not doing what many would consider to be the most profitable thing. I'm not making YouTube videos on one single video game. Now, I'm not doing this because I don't care about profit. I do care about profit. It's because of profit that I'm even able to do this. YouTube, as of right now, as it has been for a while, is my job, so I have to care about profit, you know, if I'm gonna pay the rent. So I can effectively keep doing this because I love it. I love making YouTube videos. I love being able to share my opinion on video games. And there's the key right there. My opinion on video games, not a single video game. Yes, I may have an opinion or a variety of different opinions on a single video game, I always do. But I have others on other video games as well. And I don't want to restrict myself, and I don't want to restrict you, the viewer, to a single experience. Because you see, variety is not only the spice of life, but variety is the spice of video games. And I don't mean just from a gameplay perspective. I know when we think of variety and we think of video games, we think of the variety that a game entails or a variety of things that a video game is supposed to provide. What I'm specifically talking about outside of gameplay is the variety of games that you actually play and experience. Don't get me wrong, I have my favorite video games of all time. I have video games that I play more than others. I have video games that I really truly enjoy, enjoy more than others, some I enjoy less so. But no matter how much I enjoy or love this one video game, I'm going to play others because I want to. I want to have other experiences. And for all I know, my next favorite video game of all time, the next most enjoyable experience I've ever had from a video game may be out there. Look what happened with my favorite games of all time. Before the year 2013, my favorite video game of all time was a game called Eye of the Dragon. It was a third person action RPG where you got to play as a dragon, fly around in open world and kill monsters. And up until 2013, that had been the most fun I had ever had with a video game. And then, when 2013 rolled around, I got to play a video game called Divinity Dragon Commander. And it was an amazing and fulfilling and magical experience, one of the most I've had with a video game. I truly enjoyed and loved that game. And Divinity Dragon Commander became my favorite video game of all time. 
And then this year, 2016 rolled around, and I played Doom, the new Doom, the Doom reboot, Doom 2016, and that has now become my favorite video game of all time, because that game is the most fun I have ever had playing any video game ever. Doom 2016 is utter joy. Doom 2016 provides me with the most fulfillment, the most excitement, the most entertainment out of any video game I've ever played ever, so it is now my favorite video game of all time, but I wouldn't know that if I restricted myself to a single video game, or video game series, or group of games from a single studio. If I was a Call of Duty only YouTuber and only played the Call of Duty video games and only made videos about the Call of Duty video games, I would have never experienced Divinity Dragon Commander or Doom or Crisis or Dead Space or Mass Effect or Dragon Age Inquisition or Evolve or Titanfall or any of these other amazing, superb, fantastic video games that have just been so much goddamn fun and have added so much to my life. Another video game that's greatly associated with my YouTube channel Warframe. I love Warframe. Warframe is also one of my favorite games of all time. I will gladly make more videos about Warframe and talk about Warframe, livestream Warframe, yada yada yada. And I get constant requests to do more Warframe videos, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do Warframe videos when I feel like doing Warframe videos. Could I become a Warframe only channel, only make Warframe videos and make a ton of profit? Absolutely! Would it be the right thing to do? Hell no! Me, in my own personal opinion, I personally believe it to be wrong to make a YouTube video to dedicate your gaming to a single video game. It's why I nag Warframe players and Call of Duty players. It's why I nag the players of these video games to play other video games. Because despite how good those games are and how much you enjoy those games, and I don't want to take that enjoyment away from you, like I said earlier, Variety is the spice of life, and variety is the spice of video games. No matter how much you enjoy a single game, or single game series, or games made by a single studio, there are so many other experiences that you are just missing out on. You are hurting yourself, not going out of your way to try and experience new things. Yes, can new things sometimes hurt? Can new things sometimes suck? Absolutely, but you won't know until you try. You gotta be able and willing to, at the very least, the bare minimum, try. Try playing other video games. Try making YouTube videos on other video games. Try watching other videos about other video games. Something fun or fulfilling or something that just blows your mind could be right around the corner if you just look for it. It's why I go out of my way to play more than one video game. Sure, I could be content and absolutely have a blast just playing the new Doom all the time and just making YouTube videos about the new Doom, but it wouldn't be fair to myself and it wouldn't be fair to you. Video gaming is so, so, so much more than just one single experience, than just the Warframe experience, the Call of Duty experience, the Destiny experience, the World of Warcraft experience. The video game experience is imagination and creativity come to life, allowing you to have the experience of experiencing things that we can't in real life. I mean, look at a video game like Rocket League. Yes, it's silly and cartoony. But the idea, the setting, the premise, and the gameplay is so unique and out there. It's unlike anything else. Race cars playing soccer. Isn't that a cool concept just worth experiencing? Look at the Mass Effect video games. They allow you to go on a journey and explore and customize and create your own story while engaging and interacting with alien environments and alien characters while trying to save these alien worlds and these alien characters characters from a completely alien threat. Then look at an open world video game like, say, Fallout. A post-apocalyptic sci-fi environment where you're free to do whatever you want, go wherever you want. The game's not linear and it won't force you to do anything you don't want to. You can play the game however you want to play the game. You can truly create your own personal experience in a virtual fantasy world. It's why I love video games so much, why I think video games, I truly believe video games to be better than movies and books. The fact that we can experience and customize and have unique single player stories. The fact that we can play with, work together, and compete against friends in an online multiplayer environment. Spanning from shooting at each other as soldiers, killing and surviving hordes of aliens, or playing as cute silly robots with portal 
portal guns trying to solve puzzles. Or maybe leading and building entire armies of robots to work together or clash with one another. There is such a variety of amazing experiences that I can't imagine myself just making YouTube videos on one particular video game and I don't understand why other YouTubers do it. Why gamers themselves do it. Why they play only one video game from one franchise. I will never understand the Call of Duty only gamers or the Call of Duty only YouTubers or the Warframe only gamers and the Warframe only YouTubers and etc etc. I don't understand why you would limit yourself. Why you would limit yourself to the boundless dreams come true. The fantasies, the imagination come to life that video games provide, I just, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it, I can't fathom it. Why you would want to limit yourself to just one. It's why I promote, it's why I play a variety of video games because I believe that's the right thing to do. It feels like the absolute right thing to do. However, just for the hell of it, if I were to give a more simple and casual answer to the question and questions that I have been trying to answer throughout this video, it's just really goddamn boring making videos or watching videos about one particular video game. It's just boring. I don't understand how other YouTubers do it. Not just YouTubers, gamers too. How do you guys just not get absolutely bloody sick and tired of playing just that one game? Now don't get me wrong, I absolutely adore video games. If you dropped me on a tropical island with an internet connection and an infinite amount of power and a PC, but I could only play one video game for the rest of my life while stranded on that tropical island. Like, I could play that one video game and I would be perfectly content. If it was Doom or Dead Space or Crisis or Mass Effect, I would be content playing it over and over again. If it's a video game I love, I c I'll never get bored of it because I, I don't get bored of video games. And the video games that I do get bored of, I just don't play. But going months years even of just playing the same game, making YouTube videos of the same game, watching YouTube videos of the same game, whether it be Call of Duty or Warframe, Destiny, Grand Theft Auto, Gmod, etc, etc. Like, I really can't understand how you just wouldn't get sick and tired and eventually grow to hate this game that you watched and played so much and loved so much, how you wouldn't just get sick of it and start to hate it if it was the only thing you played and watched and or made video content of. Believe me, me, I'm not ignorant. I'm not making the assumption that everybody's the same. Everybody's different. I have absolutely no doubt that there are die-hard fans and lovers of this one video game, and they are perfectly content and happy with spending all of their time around this one video game. However, if that's the case, you lose all rights to ask the question, how do I avoid burnout on this game? If you are non-stop playing this game and non-stop watching YouTube videos on that game, you have lost the right on how to avoid burnout because you're just asking and begging for burnout if you just expect to play this one video game and to have this video game eternally satisfy you for as long as you play it. I find it kind of utterly ridiculous that when people ask how do I avoid burnout on this game and there are even people and people who have made YouTube videos saying, oh well if you do this and this and this, you may avoid burnout playing this game. No! No, there's no friggin' workarounds, there's no plan or checklist or advice to give on how to avoid burnout in a video game. Just play another video game. If you're getting bored and tired of playing this one video game, then play another one. Variety is the spice of life, and variety is the spice of video games. Don't deny yourself variety. That's what I do on this YouTube channel. I do not deny myself variety, and I do not deny you, my viewers, variety. Variety makes videos interesting. Variety makes life interesting. Variety makes gaming interesting. Variety makes things interesting. It makes you think. And variety makes you appreciate all the different and unique and amazing video games there are to experience and play out there. Anyways, that's been a video. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, if you liked the video in any way, shape, or form, please hit the like button. Hitting the like button helps you, helps me, helps everybody involved with the video. If you hit the like button, please leave a comment. What are your thoughts, feelings, and opinions on the topic of this video? I love reading comments. I get nearly enough comments. Please leave a comment. If you want to help out and support this video, then please share it on social media, Twitter, and Facebook. And if you want to help out and support me directly, then please consider pledging and becoming a patron on my Patreon. Anyways, guys, that's been a video, and I will see you all later.